what is up guys we're streaming live we're here i, I made it on time uh it is hotter Ooh, it's hot and uh it's hot in the bait room so uh, i had to bust out the kool-aid tonight but uh been working all week it's been a pretty crazy week uh but i've got some awesome balsa crankbaits in from two different bait makers and uh, i want to show you them because um i'm blessed to get those this week to sh um just just amazing week here so uh make sure you give this uh video a like for me uh share it around and we're going to talk baits tonight for a while i answer questions for a bit and i'll get into these uh balsa crankbaits here uh, I'm going to share this over on Facebook, so bear with me for just a second. That way I let my Facebook peeps know I'm here streaming. <clears throat> Let's see here. Hope everybody's doing good. I need to pop the chat out. Um, that way I can answer some questions. I'm, I always, the first little bit always takes me a little bit to get going so I can get this thing uh, shared up and everything. So make sure uh, you give this video a like and y'all know, y'all know what to do. I'm about done with Facebook, to be honest with you. It's got so much trash on it lately. It's not even worth it. Um, but And lately, I I've been posting a lot of stuff to my Bateman page, and it just doesn't even show up at all. Like, doesn't even show up as a post. Uh, I will begin to answer questions and, and, and shout outs and all that stuff and uh, we'll get to it all right Bateman website uh, well I haven't updated that in a long time I really need to uh, but I got some other stuff in the works I'm just gonna let you guys know so uh, I really put the Bateman website kind of on the back back burner Yes, I've got, uh, speaking of Baron Bates, man, I got, uh, got a whole box from Baron's Crankbaits, uh, right in here. We're going to talk about all those. And then I got a box from Norm Coulter, Coulter Cranks. Uh, if you know anything about, uh, Balsa, uh, Crankbaits, uh, you know, Norm Coulter is a legend and it's, it's hard to get that stuff. What's up, Brian Crawford? Apologize, Brian. I gotta get you some crankbaits. I, I've been super busy, man. Uh, I got way behind on shipping some stuff out. So, guys, if we did any trades or anything, I I got it out today. I just really been busy with work. Uh, favorite six slick sick sticks are not bad rods. Outdoors geek, not bad rods. I think. If your wife got you two of those for your birthday, I'd probably keep her around. Uh, thanks, Thomas. I, I wish I could figure out Instagram to get more followers. Uh, I really like doing photography and stuff like that. So, um, My faith in you is now last. Wow. Yeah, Freestyle Bass Fishing Norm seems like a great, great guy. And he kind of told me uh, a little bit of story about this new... Uh, crankbait he sent me that's a prototype it's one of one so clay what's the difference between the lc 1.5 and the lucky craft rc 1.5 uh rick Klun's name cost them about a hundred thousand dollars there's your difference nate i've had so many bait conversations i'm not trying to be a turd i just forgot man What's up, Kyle Norris?
What's swim bait from uh, net bait? I guess the uh, little spanky. It's pretty good. It's kind of just like the uh, Reaction Innovation Skinny Dipper, just a, a smaller version. Very good one. Um, definitely try the net bait, um, the new dagger, and um, the seven inch flex worm. What's up, Sean Myers? Yeah, the new flex. Flex worm, the pack of slim from Netbait is really, really good, man. If you like the pack of crawl, you'll like the slim. So, all right, let's see if this thing you post on Facebook. All right. Anyway, uh, let's see here. I'm, I'm gonna check one, one more thing before we get on here. I I, I think I'm gonna have to uh, get a new time or something, man. The nine o'clock time was really really good, and then uh, and then now it's just like whoa, standstill, barely getting people on here. So that's my fault for the most part. I gotta get more people. Um, on the stream, so I haven't got to do any fishing, man. I've been working, 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 and uh, it's gonna be like that for a while, guys. I, I plan on uploading a lot of stuff this week, and it just didn't happen. So, um, I'm just not even gonna tell you guys if I'm gonna upload anything, uh, because uh, long story short, I don't want to disappoint. So, but I did check out the 2020 iCast videos, I kind of knew everything, uh coming out and for the most part uh iCast was cool um nothing just no game changers no game changers all right fat guy bass and have you ever texas rigged the divine yes i have um the texas rigged the divine worm is actually a really really good good way to fish it so just because something's labeled a shaky head or something's labeled a texas rig worm you do what you want to with it uh, i mean uh, Nico rigging that divine shaky head worm is really good as well. So, that's cool, Kev. Uh, I'd love to see that. And his name spelled M A R T E N S. That is my pet peeve. That is Aaron Martin's. How you spell his last name? Uh, and then uh, Doug Hayes. Yeah, man, a New York swing. I don't think, uh, I think if one guy comes back with COVID-19, it'd be one of the worst decisions Bass ever made to go, is to go fish the New York, uh, thing. I'm hoping not, uh, but there's a lot of people that are really not cool with them going up there trying to do a bass tournament, um, with, because, like, COVID-19 is a huge hotbed there in New York, so... I mean, personally, I want them to go fish, but I, I'm not sure it's the best decision ever, especially if somebody comes back with it. But hopefully no one does. Be September, John D's, when the Vega frog's coming. So let, let's get on with the baits. I mean, we don't want to sit here. And, man, this shirt looks awful, by the way, all the wrinkles in it. But I just had to pick something up real quick. Uh, Going to have to get the wife on a laundry. And... uh Oh, well, at least my work could get a good shout-out uh, for a while. Let's get on with the bait. So, my man, BJ Barron, Barron's Custom Cranks. He didn't send them in a six-cents box. He used another box, but I swapped it out. He sent me a ton of balsa crank baits. The only thing uh, from Strike King, the soft plastics that was new this year, was the Ned Rage Crawl, as far as I know. That's it. Clay, the only difference in the original RC 1.5 and the Lucky Craft 1.5 is they took Rick Clant. Clun's name on it. There's really no, there's no difference in the plastic or in the internals or anything. Now they did make a bunch of different sizes in the RC than they do now, um, but the difference is really the hundred thousand dollars they paid Rick Clun. 
and I'm still, I'll be honest, I st I'm still upset with them, because that bait was not designed by Rick Klein, and it's just absolute sham, that whole thing. Great bait, one of the best crankbaits ever made, but Rick Klein name on it is, is kind of a sham. It was a big time sellout deal. Thoughts on the Mega Bass 110 Junior? Uh, I don't throw tiny jerk baits, so um, I've never been a fan of the 110 Junior. I probably won't throw the 110 Plus Junior. I just don't throw real small um, jerk baits, and that's part of where I live and stuff. But yeah, Don G. About any time you see a PH uh, custom bait, it's a replica of something else. If you want me to be totally honest with you, um, I like Phil. He's a good guy, but uh, I get on my Facebook and there's all kinds of 20% off or 10% off uh, PH Custom Lords Pro Staff guys on there and it really gets annoying sometimes. What's up, Ken? Well, we're going to talk about this stuff right here. This is uh, Baron's Custom Cranks and this is, dude, this is the one that always catches my eye. This goes about four to six foot and I love the name. This is the OG. Love that paint job on it. It's got a little bit of red flake, but it's not too crazy on it. And by the way, these hooks are stupid sharp right here. These are kind of like those evergreen shower blow hooks. Yeah, they're super sharp. But if you'll notice here, it's kind of thick. Uh, it's a bigger style uh, bait. It's not a square bill. It's a, a round little lip. I love this style bait right here it's got a really good it's got a tight wobble but it's not super tight uh, it bounces off cover really really well i don't know the name of this color um but the bait is called the og and this is one of my favorite baits uh from baron's custom cranks um, very nice and i love that lip right there And if you'll get on Facebook and look up Baron's Custom Cranks, there's his uh, card here. You will be able to get a link to his Etsy store or and everything. And he has a lot of stuff in stock. He makes quite a bit of baits. He does a really good job uh, um, keeping those in stock. I'm on, I'm on YouTube. I don't know why my wife wants to interrupt me all the time. Let's see. Uh, I am drinking uh, Sharkleberry Kool-Aid. That's my favorite color. And the Slim OG will come out probably uh, September, October. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Black Label Balsa Crankbaits. Uh, the new Wreck is awesome. Um, underwater footage I've seen of that, it's, it's amazing, so... All right, so that is the OG. That's going to be very similar to that uh, Rapala DT Slim. Uh, the Slim's probably not as thin. Whoa, check it out. DIY bass fishing with that $20 make you holler. Appreciate it. Great channel, guys. Need to check out that. Uh, how do I spell Baron's Custom Cranks? Uh, I'll get to that in just a second, bud. Uh, Rapala. Hey, buddy, some Rapala. Big BX Brat in your favorite color survive the 50% off Thunderdome sale. If you want, I can send you a few. Dude, I would definitely take some Rapala Big Brats. I don't have any. Uh, message me up on Facebook, man, and I'll pay for them. Don't, that is no problem. Uh, I love it when guys find good sales in the, my favorite colors. So DIY Bass Fishing, shout out to you. Thank you so much. Um, Baron's Custom Cranks is spelled B A. Uh, B A R R O N custom cranks, um, and I tell you what, after uh, the video, I will link his information down in the bottom. But whew, I love that paint job. It kind of looks like an old uh, George Lynch guitar, man. If you know who I'm talking about. So that's the O G. I like the O G. What else we got here? This is a very popular bait from him. He told me uh, this is one of his better sellers. This is the BC.2. Uh, uh, 
and that's kind of a color I really like. Very similar to uh, root beer. Let me get this thing open here. I don't do good with these rubber banded hooks. I actually hook myself more. Uh, if I can find some scissors in here, of course I probably can't because that's how things go for me. But we'll do our best. I reckon we don't need uh, the hooks, but you can see the BC.2, very similar. Uh, has a traditional more round body, square lip. This is more like a big balsa version of a you know KVD 2.5 or, or Crush 100. That would be, uh, there says, good and wide here, big fat square lip, gonna deflect really good off uh, cover. Uh, you can definitely tell these are homemade, all right? And that's one thing I love about these baits. They don't look like they're all stamped out of a machine. Um, and they may be used in a machine, but they don't look like someone just pushed a button and vroom, vroom, vroom. You can tell work has been put in. And that's what I love about BJ's baits. Really cool paint job right there. That's kind of like a root beer splatter or something like that. A little bit of green. Uh, that's a pattern and bait I'm going to use right there. I really like that. Just old school. Uh, round body style. I love the, some guys like the eyes on the side. I like them on the top like that Put a snap up there for you. so I'll give you a trick if uh, If these bait builders put a snap on their baits chances are it's gonna run better with the snap on So that's something Mike book at bullshed says when he sends a bait in the mail if it's got a snap use it if it doesn't the bait works better without so and BJ says these are ST41 hooks, so that's awesome. I love me some owner hooks. They are sharp. So I guess if you're going to build a quality bait, you got to put quality hooks on there. So answer a few more questions, we'll get to the next bait. Let's see here. You do a lot of coverage on boss of crankbaits. Can you please do a list of companies to check out on Facebook? You have covered this year. Yeah, absolutely, man. I got something coming out. Uh, I don't know. Let's just say I'm writing articles and some stuff for a certain website that's fixing to start happening. And one of the first things I'm doing is going to cover all these amazing boss of companies. Uh, the Strike King 1.5. It, that's coming out doesn't have a rattle it has a knocker in it uh, so Bass Pro Shop has an exclusive on the 1.5s with rattles uh, that's why Strike King come out with a hard knocker 1.5 awesome Sycamore Outdoors I actually saw the comment the other night standing around outside at work on break so Dude, I can't wait to beat them crankbaits up, too. That's how you got to do. That's how you fish these balsa stuff, man. Uh, I like fishing them. I like collecting them. But I want to have a big, giant stash. So, yeah. So, this is uh, this one dives one to three foot. It's redesigned. Uh, BJ put a note on it. This is uh, the Crash. So, this is very similar to, um, like, an E1. Uh, from the Zoom WEC or the Wreck, it uh, it is designed to crash through cover. It's going to have a little bit more. Uh, it's not going to track perfectly straight. It's going to have a little bit of hunting action, and 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 it's going to thump in the water, man. These are really these little Bagley B1 style baits, man. They're some of my favorites, especially you, know, you guys that are river rats. You know what these things do. Uh, love this color. It's kind of his play on sexy shad uh, It's gonna be nice for the fall. So that's when I throw boss of the most is fall and spring uh, There are guys in the summer and Taki hero went on a, a Bagley uh, and some dirty water won the Bassmaster classic But if you look here So this is the old Bagley B1 it is the smaller version you can tell there is a little bit of difference in the Barron's one. He's got his own, but the angle of the lip is very, very similar. That lip angle is very important. Now, this is more of a micarta style. No, Bagley is a plastic lip. 
Now, my personal preference is I like this style lip, but man, if you're a fan of the, the short round bodies, like the old Bagley's or the Zoom E1's, that's a good reproduction right there. And that's the Crash. Obviously, the name Crash, you're meant to blow into some cover with this thing. I did kind of t talk about, saw that with Rick Klein. It was more of him talking about square bills. Um, I made a comment. Yo, Rick, did uh, you let guys know Mike Otten designed that 1.5? I didn't get a reply. And I respect Rick Klein. I think he's one of the best OGs out there. Amazing fisherman. Way better than me. Let's see. Yeah, the pH uh, pH makes good stuff, man. There's no doubt about it. But I, I kind of just wish, uh, you know, Phil will kind of make it. He's got so much talent. There's no need to copy everybody else's stuff. Yeah, the inshine bait's pretty good, man. To be honest with you. Uh, dude, got a six inch hat for your birthday. Happy birthday to you, Tony. Appreciate it, man. How is the 6SW? I don't know what the 6SW is. Yeah, Phil's a great builder, man. He's got all the talent and the machines in the world. I just want to see him kind of do his own thing. You know, that's, it's okay to, like, you know, make reproductions of legendary baits and stuff. But I know Phil can. Phil can bring us some stuff that we haven't seen. You know what I mean? So, I don't want that to be negative. Phil's a super nice guy in person. His pro staffers do get a little annoying. How is the 6H? What is the 6H? Nate Swan, I don't understand. what. How is the 6H? <clears throat> Alright. Let's see what else we got here. So, this is the Crash Junior. And you guys that like... What's your recommendation for deep diving balsa crank? For the most part, I don't throw deep diving balsas, Robbie. If I do, it's a DT-16. BJ put something in here I need to try, though. So I'll just say that. So this is the Crash Junior. You guys that like full baits, he sent me a full one. I'll, and so there's an art that goes into foiling uh, these baits. Some guys do it uh, totally different than other people. So this is more of that smaller E1 size. That's what BJ put on this card, the Crash Junior. This is a new bait he just come out with. Guys, I like this. Very nice full design on this. Great, great bait. Thank you, Sean Law. Snagged for them Barons, man. BJ is a great dude. Uh, today is BJ Barron's birthday. Just going to let you know, guys know. Got to give him a birthday shout out. Happy birthday, BJ. And he's a great guy. Like, I like to support people who are good people. Uh, and BJ loves the fishing industry. And I appreciate him so much for sending me this stuff. I'd already had some of his baits. But he got on here and said, hey, man, I'd love to be featured on here. Send me some, I'll send you some baits. But this fool, my man, Craig Powers, East Tennessee, he swears uh, by this full pattern, the silver black back one, bright blue skies, can't get a bite. He says, dude, find a wee baits or a fulled silver bait. I need to get some wee baits. They're awesome, but love that. Small Crash Junior. Yeah, I like that guy right there. What's up, St. Crest? And uh, thank you for that $10. Make you holla, Sean La. Appreciate that. Oh, guys, we got uh, we got a celebrity in here. My boy, Frank the Tank Hazley. Uh, that dude got him a trophy in a BFL today. So let's let's congratulate Frank on the co angler side. Uh, got him a nice top five trophy. Uh, Frank's a great guy. Glad to see you bring a check and a trophy home, uh, my man. So BJ's wife puts the foils on the baits. That is awesome. So funny story. It's, well, I guess it's not really funny, but my fishing partner, him and his dad, they own the largest uh, body shop here, uh, pretty much in western Kentucky. Uh, they've been on the cover of Hot Rod magazine like 20, 30 times. 
you know, DuPont basically sponsors them. You know, if they need something from DuPont, it gets taken care of. But they're really famous for their flames they've put on all these hot rods and motorcycles. And a lot of people don't know this, and I don't know if I should say this. I, who cares? Um, but my buddy's dad's mom, you know, the original owner, Pat Defue, Defue's Body Shop, Pat, she's the one that tapes off and designs all the flames you know him and his dad are the ones that actually paint them but she does all the taping and pinstriping work and it's it's pretty awesome to see that dude uh the six cent shipping here's the deal houston they're in houston around houston and also in that whole area of texas man the covoid 19 has just uh it's just it hurt it really bad nate you can always email them and be nice about it, you know, and say, hey, man, uh, here's what's happening, and they'll find out. Because usually, for the most part, it doesn't take too long to get the, get the six cent stuff for me, but it has taken a few extra days lately. I don't know if it's sitting at the post office or, or what. Uh, it's crazy. So, yeah, I am rocking the Pella Yellow. Um, this shirt has got a lot of wrinkles in it. I'm sure I look like freaking. Uh, white trash in it, but whatever. But, uh, Bateman, what's a few great bass fishing lakes on Kentucky? Uh, well, <clears throat> other than Kentucky Lake, uh, Kentucky Lake get good. Um, uh, uh, Lake Cumberland is an amazing lake, uh, on Kentucky. It fishes really well. Uh, Barren River is not bad. Uh, and then uh, Cedar Creek Lake uh, is a really good swim bait lake, uh, but it gets a lot of pressure. Um, and then you got uh, Lake Malone is really putting out some great fish, smaller lakes there. Uh, but Lake Cumberland, Dell Hollow, that's the juice. All right, let's, uh, we got some more here. So here is the BC.5. Uh, it goes two to four foot. So this is more, again, nice silver foil pattern. This is more of a flat side, but it's got this nice square bill. So this is kind of similar to like a Little John uh, MD or whatnot. But whew, look how good that back looks, man. It's a great looking foiled scale on that thing. I like this right here. This is the BC.5, two to four foot. This thing get a lot of workout for me. That's my style right there. I love that style of flat side crankbait. But, you know, the, the first one, the OG, had more of a round lip. This has got your square lip. Again, my Carta build. Love that full, man. Love that. I think uh, realistic fishing, what do you use to keep those hooks together? I, I think it's some piece of... Uh, looks like... Uh, to me, it looks like the same rubber bands people use on braces, uh, to be honest. You have to ask BJ Realistic Fishing. He will give you a real answer. Appreciate you joining in the stream, man. Thanks for keeping it real. Uh, these lures are from Barron's Custom Cranks, man. You can look them up on Facebook. And one thing I will tell you, BJ's prices are great. You know, Boston handmade crankbaits are usually a little bit more expensive, but... He's not out there trying to steal your lunch money. He's got them priced very, very fairly. And I like that he keeps a lot of baits in stock. So, Man, he sent me a lot of stuff. Here's another Crash Junior with the full. So I got two of these, man. I guess since he sent me two baits, we might have to do a giveaway on the old YouTube Instagram. What do you guys think? think we should? I think BJ would, wouldn't mind me giving away a few crankbaits. Yeah, dude, BJ's Tiger Stripe ones are amazing. Kids hair ties. You can get 500 for a couple of dollars. Appreciate that. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Uh-oh. This says prototype. I might have to hold on to that. All right, someone said something about a deep diving crankbait. Well, look at here. Coffin style bill, wide coffin bill. This is the DC, dives 10 to 14 foot. Uh, 
Very, looks like my shirt. I like this design. Uh, a lot of times the guys that make the deep divers put a real thin, narrow coffin bill. I like this style. And this bait's heavy. It should uh, it should cast pretty decent. Um, I like that. It goes 10 to 14 foot. That's deep for a lot of people. For um, It is a flat side, too. It's going to have some really unique action. It's going to have some crazy properties when it hits the bottom and hits a brush pile with this style lip. This is hot. I like this, BJ. Uh, great job on the, D, the DD. BJ's DD. I like it. And I've always just, I've been a Rapala DT guy when it comes to deep bosses. I've thrown some pH lures uh, that were deep divers. I couldn't cast them. It just could not cast them. I don't know if I should show this. It says prototype. It says prototype. But this, this is a good looking little bait right there. That's a little bit small. That's kind of a, very similar to the E1 design, but a round lip in it. It's even smaller than that Crash Junior. Oh, man, I love this little bait. That is kind of like a wee baits. I like that thing. All right, what kind of setup are you throwing? Mostly smaller balsa cranks. Medium, yeah, I would use a medium light uh, bait cast. I, I don't use a spinning for anything crank bait except a shad wrap. Um, great question, Realistic Fishing. What does the coffin-shaped lip do for a crank? Uh, one, it's going to make the, the body... It's going to have a lot tighter wobble. Uh, it's not going to have so much roll as it's just going to kind of shimmy really quick. Um, the wider the lip, the more roll you're going to get on your bait traditionally. Um, so that coffin lip, when it hits the bottom too, um, see it don't have really have any corners. When that bait's coming in and digging, it's going to make it deflect hard like I say this is the bottom instead of it like bumping and, and turning and backing up it's just gonna cut real it's gonna hit and it's just gonna real violently flick to the side uh, but it's gonna have a really tight action really tight action and it's gonna go down quickly so it's gonna be a steep angle and cut hard to the side a really good one uh, bandit flat max uh, is a good example of that style bait that's in production and uh, you can see them up shallow and you'll see how tight a coffin bill uh, wiggle is but those are that bait looks great so everybody loves balsa baits man uh, and I'm really kind of getting into them more than I normally would I just really want to get a good collection from all these builders and stuff and fish them and um, because the thing about these balsa baits, they're not like a Strike King or a Rapala or Six Cents. Uh, they're like, if these something happens to these guys or, you know, they're one, every bait is one of one. You may have four of the same color and same style, but each one may run a little bit of different. And that's what I like is finding that uh, needle in the haystack. Well, Caleb... I don't throw a lot of fire tiger crankbaits, but Six Cents has a new fire tiger, man. It's 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 amazing. I forgot the exact name of the color. I want to say it's like Fire Craw or something like that. Well, I can just look it up here. Let me look it up. Man, it's hot up in the bait room tonight, boys. I am sweating. I'm gonna look up this new color. Someone on yeah, backwater gill. Yeah, that's a good looking one. It's called yeah, it's called Craw Fire. It is their version of a fire tiger, man, and this thing sold out super quick. Super quick. I really wanted to get this one, but it's sold out. Warmouth kind of looked like a tiger stripe jank juice. So, does anyone make a balsa crank that it will reach 20 foot? I don't know. Uh, if you count the Pose 500, and I think Pose actually made a 600. Yeah, you can get a, 
uh, a wooden crankbed that meets 20 foot. It's cedar. And the DT20 wheel. What's up, Sean Z? All right. Uh, so then I got to let you guys know that uh, BJ, thank you so much for those baits. I think we are going to do a little giveaway there with a few of those to get those in some random person's hand. I appreciate that, my man. Thanks for support uh, on the channel. So this next this next uh, box of balls is pretty rare. Um, to be honest, Coulter Cranks is kind of one of those unicorns for me. Um, I didn't know. I sent uh, Norm a message probably this uh, early spring. Said, hey, Norm, when you make some baits, uh, let me know. I'd, I'd like to purchase a couple. And he said, no problem. And uh, long story short, man, he messaged me, I believe, Wednesday evening and said, hey, bait man, love what you're doing. I'm sending your baits out. And I said, what I owe you? And he said, don't worry about it. Okay. And, uh, man, I figured I'd get one little bait, but Norm hooked it up with one, two, three, four. Mr. Coulter Cranks, uh, you have to get on uh, Facebook and look up Coulter Cranks, man. It's uh, He does an amazing job. Now, here's the thing about Norm, uh, a lot... A lot of his baits were inspired by uh, the legendary Ronnie B, who made the Love Plug. And uh, the Love Plug was an amazing crankbait, handmade. And so many people um, uh, follow Norm because of how he makes his baits. It's true to the Ronnie B style. And uh, they're hard to get, man. And... Uh, some of his baits go on eBay for quite a bit of money, but when you see the craftsmanship in it, they're great. Um, that's not taken away from any other builders, man. Uh, but Norm style is kind of the the baby pig uh, style that me and Epic Eric love. That's inspired, you know, uh, the mutt uh, from Zoom that style. Um, John Cruz, you know, the the Spro Little John Fifty was really kind of a baby pig bait that made it into bass fishing world as far as a plastic bait so let's let's check out these coulter cranksmen never had one really excited yes and one of these is one of one it is a prototype so this one right here someone asked if i like fire tiger well this is kind of a full fire tiger ish color this is the love plug the four 4.5 so this is the Norm's Love Plug. Uh, this is his reproduction of the Ronnie B. Amazing crankbait. Look at that guy right there. Fooled. It's got some flake in that. Oh, man, this would kill him in the dirty water. Now, one thing I will tell you is uh, Norm also puts a snap in here for this bait man you can see most of these guys they put their name on the bottom it says coulter 2020 there's just uh full all on this and some flake I'll, the love plug on the bait hug that's right but man i really like this bait norm puts the red hook on there this bait was inspired for the late ronnie b man uh the ronnie b love plug this is norm's and uh man does a great job and this color is called burn it this is funny it's called burn it granny i like that but that's a love plug 4.5 and i'm going to put norm's email address uh in here that's how you can get in contact with him that's what he puts on his business card so i'll put that in the description uh, i hate to make these guys any busier but we'll see but man i like that dude that's that's straight up epic I sent Eric a text and was like, yo, you cannot believe what showed up at my house. And uh, he said, dude, that brother, that is a score. Maybe I could get uh, one of these builders to make us some special um, Bateman baits. That would work. How do you say that word when you catch a big one? Uh, jaint, J-A-I-N-T. It's called jaint. 
All right, next thing we got from Mr. Coulter Crank. This is the famous one. This is this is the baby pig. The baby pig. And yes, it is fooled. Oh my goodness. Look at this copper full green back. Love this bait right here. Um, that is basically that's the deal. The baby pig. Uh, the stick man baits make the reproduction of this. Um, many people have tried to make the baby pig, and this is the OG, the original one. You know, you look at that, very similar to a Spro Little John 50. Somebody got some inspiration, very similar style to like the Zoom uh, Mutt. Dude, I don't know what I would do, Dustin, if I had a purple and chartreuse baby pig. I would probably just pass out at this point, but I love this finesse style. Uh, boss, so lots of love on this bait, man. Uh, Norm, I don't know what to say, man. I'm really blessed that he sent this. Uh, but uh, you can email Norm, and he will uh, he will put you on the list. Let's just say that you know I'm not on here. I'm not going to put these on eBay. These are all for my personal collection. But man, that is. Norm knocked it out on the park right there. Normally, I would think, man, I wouldn't throw something like that. But dude, I love that gold full, man. It's an overcast day here in the fall. Oh, nasty. Nasty, nasty. My river, Ohio River, guys. Yeah. All right, I missed a few questions. Let's let's, uh, let's answer a few questions real quick uh, before I get more on these Coulter cranks. Uh, if you use a backward-facing double hooks on a crankbait, would they be better for bank fishing? Maybe so, maybe so, because if you're reeling coming toward you, you know, it shouldn't get snagged like that. Interesting question, Realistic Fishing. I enjoy your channel, man. I really do. I just want to know how you have time to upload a video every day, man. It's crazy. You do an amazing job, and you're a Middle Tennessee boy, and I appreciate the Realistic Fishing. I will... Uh, who would like to see me and Realistic Fishing go snag some baits, man? I would I would love to uh, break down his baits. He is not scared to buy anything, and he knows how to save a lot of money. Uh, the pig does have, it does not have red flake in it. It actually has some, um, I guess, some silver, silver flake in the top. Now, here's the next one. This one looks really, really good here. Here's the thing, I don't think Realistic Fishing does any collabs, and that's cool, man. He is, like, grinded doing his own thing. This is the Warthog 4.5. Yeah, you'll see this bait on uh, his Facebook page. I'm trying to make sure I don't lose anything on this package. So, if Norm puts a clip in here, I'm going to say use the snap, but if he didn't, Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Look at that thing right there. Tyler got him a RT-188. Congrats, bro. Dude, springtime, Tennessee River. Yeah, you better have one of these. Now, the Warthog has that round style lip. It's going to have a little wider kick on this thing. Whew. Yeah. That fire crawl. Holy smokes. That thing is deadly in all 50 states. Look, I mean, just look at this paint job, man. This is sick. Ugh. It does have some metallic red flake up in the top on that. Oh, my goodness. That Warthog. Norm. Norm. Love it, man. The Warthog 4.5. Fire crawl, no jackhammer. Uh, holy smokes. I want to know how you write your name. Anybody writes their name so well on the bottom of these baits. I could barely write my name legible on a piece of paper. You guys put it on a bait like it's nothing. These are not going to be for sale, guys. Personal collection. Um... Norm was super nice guy. Everybody I've, uh, I've messed with in the balsa stuff has been handmade. It's super nice people, man. Uh, and I understand 
everybody wants 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 but man it is it is hard i need i did not get a little pig dog i got uh the love plug 4.5 we got the baby pig which i like the baby pig and we got the warthog all right so this is special hopefully norm don't 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 get mad at me but you know i can't keep her secret this is a prototype one of one coulter crankbait a prototype one of one all right this is the shaky man four to four point five so there's a great story about the name shaky man all right and norm let me know this is hot this color is straight up it's hot what's up uh mike dove man glad to see you back on the stream man we're, we're talking some homemade bossa stuff right here that's hilarious chris john so this is coulter cranks prototype 101 this is the shaky man wow guys you know i love me some spring crawl this has got some throwback to some of them old balsa old bagley color right here spring crawl holy smokes love this shaky man right here so this is a prototype and uh, he's kind of got that my carta lip, baby pig lip in there holy smokes so here's what uh i'm gonna tell you what norm said about this bait is he sent me a message and i don't want to you know try to so this is what dave said or norm says the shaky man had several names so this 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 bait right here uh shaky man little shaky man dave's shaky man dave's little shaky man um, this bait was na named after a friend of Ronnie B's, um, that Ronnie worked with the, at a car dealership with him. Ron was the paint, Ronnie B was the painter at the body shop. And, uh, this guy had Parkinson's and his nickname was Shaky Man. And this guy was Dave Farrington that owns Dave's Tournament Tackle. So look at this connection, you know. So Dave got his hands on one of these and reached out to Ron and asked for an exclusive for a store. Ronnie agreed, and after that, the crank was only available at Dave's shop. This is a model that I've been wanting to build for a while, and Craig Cole was kind enough to write the CNC program to allow me to do this. This is a very unique style in both thickness and body shape. So if you look closely at the pick, you will see three different shapes and a couple differences in thickness. Body shape of the one I sent you is the prototype of thickness, one of my early test models. One of the unique characteristics of this crank is the tail shake. If you need any info, let me know. Looking forward to watching it nine. So Norm sent me these pictures of of the shaky man before. Look at those fools, man. And there's the original Ronnie B uh, shaky man's the Dave's shaky man so dave tournament tackle had the exclusive on this bait norm brought it back this is the prototype man i love that and these baits look so good man yep and then there's the there's the the love plug from ronnie b dude norm i appreciate the information on that that's crazy how fishing works and uh, I like Dave's Tournament Tackle, man. He makes some good stuff. Uh, a subscriber sent some stuff to me, and I was really impressed. But, dude, I love I love that one right there. I, I'm going to have to do some pool footage. Uh, I was going to stream last night at the pool, and we did. I guess it was just going to thunderstorm all afternoon. So I can't really take my laptop out there and go to the pool. But shout out to Norm Coulter, man. I cannot believe uh, the hookup on that deal. Thank you so much, man. So, if someone was looking to get into collecting balsa wood baits, what brand would be best to start out? Uh, gonna be honest, man. Uh, Black Label Balsa is a great place uh, to start out. Uh, they do a really, really good job. Thanks, Ken. I appreciate you joining in the show, man. Black Label ba Balsa is a great place uh, to start out. Very reasonably priced. You can buy their stuff on Tackle Warehouse. 
um, you can buy on eBay. I'm telling you guys, the new rack is amazing. If you've seen uh, a couple of the videos of it underwater, dude, this thing is a, is a hunting machine. Uh, they've got uh, the new mutt style and whatnot. <clears throat> All right, let's get caught up on some questions and let's just talk random fishing if you guys want to do that. It's been a long time since uh, I need to get, uh, I wish I could stream like every night, but unfortunately I can't. I got to go to work. That work's really getting uh, in thing. 285 people in here. What is up, guys? Woo! I'm sweating. All right. Thanks uh, for joining Realistic Fishing, man. Keep it realistic. Bro Manson. All right, here. Bait, man, I'm drilling. You got to make it stop. Man, I'm not doing anything. These people just sent me that, that fire juice, man. Uh, to let you guys know, uh, Epic Eric said, make sure you tell uh, the, pe the people on the Bait Man channel, I said, what's up? He is fishing tournaments every weekend and working he says man i just can't get back up on stream man bait man I, i'm fishing all the time but i'm still getting baits uh eric's going to be back this fall uh to stream with me he says he's a free agent he will stream with whoever and whenever but he's looking forward to coming back on the bait man show he says i got some baits man we got to talk about but it'll be this fall that dude is a fishing fool is eric so all right, if I'm throwing a square bill, are you throwing plastic or balsa? I, I'll be honest. Clay, I really need about two more rods. I'll take two uh, square bill rods with me. One's a glass rod and one's um, just a graphite blend rod. And believe it or not, I actually throw the, uh, the graphite blend with my balsa baits. And I'll kind of start off pretty much. I start with a Spro uh, Little John 50 or a you know six cents crush 50 x something like that i want to see what those fish are wanting um if i feel they're gonna they start eating like a little john i will put on a boss of bait because i want to give them something a little bit different uh if i know they're wanting a smaller profile if they're really skittish i throw that boss a, a lot because uh, most of your boss is silent uh if the water's up and got a little bit of and dingy and I'm casting stumps, uh, lay down stuff like that. I'm going to prefer using a uh, boss of crankbait. Now, saying that, here's the deal: balsa is harder to get. Um, it's a little bit you got to play with it to get it tuned right. Um, plastic, your six cents, your Strike King, um, Spro, your main players, they all run really good right out of the package. They hold up. If you break one off, chances are you can find it really quick. So, I'll, Caleb, here's the thing about crankbaits in the pool. I've got to figure out some... I'll have to take the hooks off. And that does affect the way they run. Or maybe put something over the hook points. Um, I don't want to rip my liner. But I'd have to make, like, a fake brush pile. If you see what I'm saying. So. Steve Hardy, the fish never did group up on the ledges at Kentucky Lake this year. So here's the, the the deal. A lot of people, sorry guys, I'm touching my face. I've got, I ain't got Corona. I'm just, dude, I'm sweating in, in the bait room. I'm fixing to get that dang, but I can't open my door because bugs have come in here. So. Uh, let's see. So, do any spinner baits? No, I don't know any spinner baits with the owner hook in them, Tyler. That's a good, good question. But anyway. Our thread fin shad population has been really low until this year. Like this huge thread fin gizzard shad spawn the last month or so. Um, it's unreal. They're everywhere. But until those bait fish mo migrate out to the ledges, the bass have no reason to really go out there. Sure, you'll find a few, but the schools of bass going out there just, just hasn't happened. Whereas you go on the Pickwick Lake, and there is schools of thread fin and gizzard shad out deep. So. Hey, bait man, what's your favorite pitching or flipping a jig? Favorite pitching or flipping a jig or dragging one? I love dragging football jig, man. Uh, that's probably one of my favorite ways to catch them, but there's nothing like flipping a jig in a bush and before it even hits the bottom, 
you just watch your line go slack and you set the hook and that sucker is like it's war it's hand-to-hand -hand combat i love flipping a jig I really like flipping plastic better. I feel like I hook up, I lose less fish flipping soft plastic than a jig, but that jig gets the big bites. Great question, Randy. Uh, Simon, do the people on smallmouth crush have any lures, as in that they have made? Uh, I think Travis may have some special stuff with gadjo baits or something like that. Um, Travis has been guiding all the time. Uh, I know it's his con. He's like me, man. He's, he's He's got work. Can't post the YouTube all the time. We did though. Boy, we posted some YouTube back in quarantine days. But Barbara sucks and cut the points off in front of. I think I'm just. Uh, someone said heat shrink. I think really, if I just took some old baits and some soft plastic and put around the hook tip, I might be okay. So. I've been throwing the Yozuri square bills a lot because not many people here. Yozuri makes some good baits, Sean. They make some good baits, man. They got a new uh, pencil popper. That thing looks fire. I'm going to have to grab some of that. Yeah, dude. Pickwick's been really good, Billy. Really good. That's right. That. So I've got two options. I can just put something like a little piece of plastic over the hook point. Or... I don't even really have to reel these crankbaits where they're smashing the bottom, to be honest with you. That's the thing about balsa. A lot of it's in the swim, um, but don't have to smash the bottom. So, What brand is the pencil popper? It's a new Yozuri uh, pencil popper, man. It looks really, really good. And they've got a good new square bill out as well. So lots of good stuff at iCast. Um, I'm trying to think of some brands I really... Uh, I need to... I need to download all that stuff. But uh, Striking, they had what they had. Um, I'll be honest, Rapala did really cool. I like the new Wacky Ring um, bands from BMC where it's you can Nico rig them or Wacky rig them on the band and the little pliers. Um, because see your hook actually on a wacky rig goes different than it does on a Nico rig. Well, these bands, you can do both on the same one. So, um, you know, uh, Daiwa, uh, has got, uh, a lot of people are like, man, I'm really disappointed. They come out with the, the, the new CT model. Bayman Jr. trying to come up in here is hot. Come on, bud. Bayman <laughs> Jr. is here. It is super hot in here. I've got to get a fan in here. Yes, new duo square bill looks freaking awesome. Uh, I'm digging the new Strike King stuff. Yeah, I like the new Strike King stuff. Looks cool. Didn't go crazy. Tatula 300, man. That's going to be my new swim bait reel. What's up, Bait Man Jr.? Hey. Hey. What have you been doing? Playing. Playing? You got your room clean? Yeah. Yeah, he does. He did a good job cleaning his room. All you really need to do is vacuum it. I will vacuum it after the stream. What else you been doing today? Playing with Neely. Play, playing with Neely? Yeah, yeah. Neely went like once. Don't be a tattletale. I'm going to tell you right now, quit being tattletale. What does Neely like? She in tr Are you trying to tell me get her in trouble? No. Okay. What are you going to say? I didn't mean to say Neely. Okay. He's going to be a little tattletale. We've got a tattletale problem in our house, so. Let's uh, see. You need to run to the bathroom and get someone to get another Bateman Jr. giveaway. Absolutely. Absolutely. Dude, they love the dinosaur shirt. So, that duo mid roller looks awesome. Uh, the Beast Coast Hybrid Hustler. Uh, that's a good little jig. I got a buddy that's got some. You want to you, do the Bateman show for a minute? Yeah. All right. I'll go inside and get me some Kool Aid. You show these people some baits, Brooks. Hey. Where are the baits on the Well, there's all kinds of baits down there. But those are my expensive balsa crankbaits. You have to get out of the way so I can get out here. You can show them anything you want. Just don't give them away.
Canada. I like I like this color. It's purple and white and purple in the bottom. And I like is there some nice hooks there. Put that right there. The SMR probably not really good case, but I'll take I'll just get one. That's all. This one, I like it. The thing is so light, you probably can't see it. But um, you all can see it, and I can't see it. But I like it. This color. Um. What else we have? Um. Color right here. I like it. What color is that, Brooke? Can you tell me what color that is. Um. What are the colors on that bait? Blue. Kind of orange. Orangish, reddish. Yeah. And red on the bottom and green. You gotta hold it up there where you can see it. Green and black. That's a cotton cordial spot. Yeah, and the orange on the bottom. Alright, you ready to swap? Yeah. Good job, Batman Jr. I hope you didn't give away all my tackle. I'm back. Did Batman Jr. knock that out? Did he do a great job? I heard him talking about my, my Jimmy Houston super spots, man. Love these baits. Good job, Batman Jr. You sent all the culture cranks away? You gave away the new stuff? Did you see these baits, man? Look at that. You like that bait? Yeah. Um. You like that bait? I want to show two of them. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Good job, dude. Bateman Jr. does a great job. He will be taking over the Bateman show probably in the next year. It will just be straight up him. So I have... He needs to get his own YouTube channel, so. Oh, you shoot, show the Moongill Series 5? Dude, this is one of my favorite crankbaits. It's called Moongill. You see, it's got a it's got a, like, a bone base, a purple belly. I said it has a nice hook, too. You said it has a nice hook. It does have nice hooks, man. Good job. Someone says you have a secret stash of Guggen baits. What's up, Hella Bass? My moderator was late. Man, we were kicking people out left and right like an hour ago, and you're like gone, MIA, nowhere. My, the Googans invaded the stream, hella bass, and you, we we didn't have you here to mod, moderate. So, uh, my favorite Kool Aid, uh, orange Kool Aid, or I like this Sharkleberry, is really good. It's, it, it, it tastes like the shark, the shark fin one. That's what it is. So anyway, what else we want to talk about uh, tonight? I may make this a short stream. Usually I stream for a long time, but I'm going to make it. Watch out, dude. It's so hot out here that I'm sweating and all that stuff. And I would... Dude, 338 people are watching Bait Jr., I think when I left, we only had like 250. They all jumped to watch you. Yeah. What, what are some other baits you want to talk about? 13-hour fishing day practicing for attorney. Uh, you're dedicated. Oh, you like that baby pig, don't you? That's what that's called. It's called a baby pig. That's what we call your sister, <laughs> baby pig. I, I make pig noises all the time. You make pig noises? Let's hear your baby pig noise. Do that again. Do it real loud. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Bateman Jr. This this kid, man, will be driving somewhere and his fart noise is all the way. He'll have his mom so mad. You'll have his mom so mad with him. Let's hear them fart noises. Give us some fart noises. Oh, that's a good one, dude. That's a good one. Now, your mom let a fart the other day in the bathroom. Um... Uh, 
it stunk bad. <laughs> Dink farted, it stunk. Dink farted and it stuck? Yeah. Our dog, yeah, dog farts <laughs> are the worst. If you could capture them in a bottle and use the dog farts to put on your fishing baits, it'd be the stinkiest thing ever. <laughs> you want to give it one more shot with that that dog fart? I mean, <laughs> arm, arm fart? You give us one more. <laughs> oh man, that's that's totally realistic. Oh, I can smell that. That's so bad, I can smell on your breath. All right, Steve Hardy, have you seen the new Plano Edge boxes up close? Yes, I actually kind of like them. Uh, they make a a slim one. Uh, I think I want to put some of my balsa cranks in those Edge box. I love my Bass Mafia stuff too. Uh, I just want to mix it up. Um, I would love to do a comparison between the Bass Mafia 3700, the Plano Edge, the Lure Lock, and I've been seeing this Busby Tackle Management System on Facebook. It looks pretty legit. I would definitely like to try that out. My wife got me the other night. Man, my wife just straight up gassed me out. Dink, by the way, Dink, P-O-O-P. Huh? Oh, okay. Did you clean it up? When? Um, no. Tonight? Yeah. In the mm-hmm. house? Yeah. All right, we'll go clean it up. It's already cleaned up. Okay, go put that up. I'm going to answer some questions. So, Chipotle infected me with the barking spiders, dude. Uh, it just, I'm just, it just depends on what I eat, man. But them, the spiders are always barking at my house. <laughs> Somebody. Hello Bass has some great YouTube videos. The thoughts on the Spybait 100. I'm not a Spybait guy. I've got one. I have not thrown it. It's it's not something I throw all the time or want to throw all the time, to be honest. It has a time and a place. I do not think Kentucky Lake Tennessee River is the place for the Spybait. Somebody's going to come on here and say, oh yeah, I've smashed them on Kentucky Lake. Well, I'm, I'm saving mine for those trips up north that I ever one of these days get to go to so I do like the groove uh, boxes they seem pretty cool big red bass that's what I worry about uh, it would be great to the, for those smaller uh, style baits um, I wish I had time to uh, edit more videos so anyway uh, I mentioned something earlier I got some things going in the works as far as bait man stuff and for you guys that, you know, we talked about it on here that want to trade and sell baits, it's coming. I've got something coming. It's going to be awesome. You will not want to use eBay after I have this thing because I'm creating a hub for buying and selling fish and tackle. Not new stuff, but it's coming. I, that's all the details I'm going to give you. But, you know, if you want to buy these baits right here, I'm going to give you a place to go find them. You want you want me to get you some Kool Aid? Oh, I got it. He's got him some Kool Aid jammers. These kids, you got. I wish they made sugarless Kool Aid because they need it. Here you go. <laughs> okay. uh, how does the finesse curve deflect and float like a boss or more like a traditional square bill? Uh, great question, Dustin Taylor. Uh, the finesse curve is more like a. It, it's very traditional like, um, but it has some. It has more. I guess you could say it's more like a boss. It, it, it's not like the S crank that does this, uh, but it has a little bit of simple movement, like so. Uh, a little bit of, uh, it doesn't track perfectly straight. It's very subtle, but I like the finesse curve. Uh, that's one I, you're going to have to see video of in the pool. Um, and it has more boss like properties. Um, it's not meant to dive as deep as like the 50x or 100x square, but it's a great shallow water crankbait. Great riprap bait. That's what I like. Hello, Bass. Uh, I need message me your eBay link. I seen a story on TikTok, and I seen you had something I couldn't find or deal. Uh, Big red bass. It's not the mag finesse, buddy. It's the magnum trick worm. Magnum trick worm. Man. But I have not. I don't even think they make it in the Magnum Finesse, to be honest. So, I do not have any. Uh, I do have a laser lure, uh, Brian Crawford. Uh, Mark Menendez found it. He he come over here. Was going through some boxes. Said, dude, I found a laser lure. 
Um, I don't know where it's at and which box, but I do have one. So. Where's my beating kit? Where's my box, though? Where's your box? No. It's uh right here with your purple purple frog. Oh, yeah. I know those laser lures were very very popular, Brian. That was a big big time deal for the Indiana guys. So. New South Speed Crawl. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get on to. Um, Tackle warehouse or whatnot, and try to get some of this new stuff this week. I can only do so many shows about balsa crankbaits. I need a haircut. Uh, you do need a haircut. What kind of baits do we need to get? Mm, red ones. Red ones. Good Ooh, ones. Good ones. That's always a good answer. What, so should we get some new stuff? Mm -hmm. You gonna help me pick it out? Okay. Think we should get some new stuff from Six Cents. Sure. Sure. Okay. Uh, My hair is so long. It's coming to the back. Yeah. Look at this long hair. Wear your hair sh hat straight. That's how you're supposed to wear it. Uh, let's see. Land Big Fish is a cool website. Uh, definitely got the zoom. So. Yes, Rainy. There is a six cent summer Bateman box. To be honest, it got really postponed because of Seavoid 19 and not being able to get a lot of the good colors i would recommend uh for the summer end so kind of just been sitting there we'll, we're going to do something special uh i've talked i'll talk to casey over there we'll get us a summer Bateman box really quick so so bailey gay the booyah recreation is the same it's the same mold uh so excalibur and booyah are the same company uh, i've explained this many many times Pratco is the company that owns Bial and Excalibur. Bial Excalibur are the same company. Now they have changed a few things, like in the one knocker, they changed the size of the weight inside. The paint jobs in the, on the one knocker are awful. The Raven Red is awful. So they've changed the paint jobs a little bit. Um, um I'll be honest, I'm pretty disappointed with the uh, the new Bial Square Bills. It's the XCS. I think their colors are awful. They have two or three good ones, but for the most, the colors they chose to come out with are just absolute awful. I mean, they're the most boring plain Jane colors that didn't sell. So I don't know who's in charge over there at Pradco anymore. Um, it's time for them to start firing some people's asses because they, the stuff they've come out with lately is not impressive. So, is Reaction and Innovation coming out with the Vixen? Yeah, they'll have a Vixen this year. They always. I talked to. Um, um, my boy Josh over there, Reaction Innovations, a few weeks ago, he said they'll have some uh, Vixens coming in uh, for the summer and fall. It'll be pretty soon. So, Well, Caleb, there's, I'm just going to be honest with you. There's a lot of debate there, but Reaction Innovations is the one who made the vixen originally they had the idea and uh, it was i'm just gonna put it this way now Tekel makes the original og vixen and all that with the kick knocker but i'm not gonna get into it but there's uh there's some bad blood there between some people um but that the vixen was an original reaction innovations idea um i do know that so that's all i'm saying I don't want to get into bait war up here, but um, yes, Tekel, uh does make the kick knocker, and they basically make uh, the stuff for Reaction Innovations at one time. But I think they're not the Vixen isn't using the Tekel factory anymore. That's just what I was told. So, but it's a it's a crazy deal, man. People got in lawsuits about that stuff. Uh, I would love to do a tell all about that bait. I'm doing good, Tactical Fisherman. What's up, Clay Plays? Dude, I, I've got some ridge worms. Uh, I gave them to a buddy that fishes Pickwick, and he loves it. The ones I have, green pumpkin, so. Dude, what? you're being a little annoying over here. Caught good bass on it today. Yesterday, awesome, dude. Oh man, 
Batman Jr. is always leaving his trash. Hey, come take this and put it in the trash. There's this big trash can right outside, too. Um, All right. I'm too gonna... poor to afford new stuff, so I've been digging out stuff from the old tackle bags. I was going to break something. Well, hurry up and do it. Love super speed crawls. Thanks, guys, for smashing the like button. Uh, I have heard of the Evolve Bait's Nervous Frog Walker. It is a nasty bait. That is one of your favorites, Hella. I know that. Man, I'm going to have to, like, pay someone to start a garden a bait room now that people know i got some Coulter's cranks. It could get really crazy around here. Fishing industry seems pretty small. And everyone seems to know each other. But how do they keep the stories under wraps? They don't keep the stories under wraps. That's the thing. Uh, the fishing industry is small, so if you ever screw somebody over, uh, everyone seems to know it. Uh, but I will say, if you ever get a job in the fishing industry, you pretty much stay in it. And I'm not trying to start anything, but here's how I feel. Uh, dude, uh, I do need to do a video of me and Junior fishing. Uh, he's going to be on the Mark Menendez television show this fall uh, here locally. He's really excited about that. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a believer in karma, man. I think if you do good things, good things happen. If you do bad things, bad things happen. Um, I try to do as unto others as they do unto me. Uh, I try not to get into drama. That's I don't. Have, so, you know, I see certain things. Uh, people, things happen to them. Uh, and I'm like, you know what, man, maybe you shouldn't have been talking that smack about certain people on the internet. And hey, I'm guilty of it too. You know, if I say something bad about somebody, you know, if something comes back to me, you know, that's karma. Um, oh, I'm a big karma guy. Dude, Brooke, Brooks knows the goods, man. He knows the goods. I've got him set up. He should never have to buy any tackle. So if Brooks is buying tackle, he's buying it just because he's going to be a little tackle hoarder. Because I've got him plenty of the good stuff to start out with. Dude, the new Big Bot BFE, that's a good looking flipping bait, man. Uh, really, I think they did a good job. Uh, Gamakatsu come out with a lot of good. They got new terminal stuff, split rings and snaps. Uh, Gamakatsu did a really good job for iCast. Um, I just need to go over everything, and maybe we'll do a little iCast review, something like that. Big man, how's the dipping situation going? I'm good, man. No dip. It's been like a month, dude. And to be honest, I don't even think about it. If you wouldn't have messaged me that, I w w would not have realized it. I, uh, I want to change the bait room, man. It's just all these baits, it just kind of looks redneck. You know, some people like this, uh, but I really need more area because I've got this big long table here. I can't really walk around it or anything like that. I need to spin it. I need to make a smaller area where if you guys say, I want to see this plastic, I want to see this bait, I can move around and grab it. Um, I think really what I'm going to do, I'm going to get one of those, like, uh, I guess uh, storage uh, closets or whatnot. You can get it at Home Depot to open up and just take a lot of this put put a lot of stuff in boxes man i got a shed man uh, i got a pretty good size shed but one it's got brown recluses all in it and i hate those um i do not do spiders and there's not ac in the shed yeah check out the wall control company didn't uh no but i did see that link you sent me i just need to look at all that but New underspin swim bait head. Yep. Uh, an EE style bait room. Oh, man, I need EE style money to have a bait room like that. But yeah, I would love to actually have like a side garage, whatnot, that's electrical, heated, cooled, all that stuff. That's the deal. But, uh, man, I'll be honest, I've been on here for about an hour and a half. I've got some things to do. i got to go back to work 
tomorrow night, unfortunately. But I would like to get a video up tomorrow night. I did get a Bait Man Raw with Joe Thomas recorded. That's going to go up uh, probably pretty quick, Tuesday. Uh, but I've got another video with Bateman Jr. Uh, of us hunting some tackle. I really wanted to get up there and go ahead and get some of that stuff knocked out tomorrow. Maybe do a little filming in the pool tomorrow uh, so I have some content uh, to work on. So, any guys, do me a favor, smash the like button for me. Uh, share the video or whatnot. Leave comment after this thing is up. Um, we're going to get... Get, get some more content out. Got to get some giveaways. Man, I owe some giveaways really, really bad. I'm sorry. So, um, anyway, thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, check out Baron's Custom Cranks, Coulter's Cranks. I'll get put that stuff in the description. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining the Bateman Show.